हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आर्या विद ए न्यू लेसन ऑन क्लास एट साइंस चैप्टर नंबर वन विच इज क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो वॉट इज ए क्रॉप वेन द प्लांट्स ऑफ द सेम काइंड आर ग्रोन एट लास्ट स्केल इज नोन एज ए क्रॉप फॉर एग्जाम्पल वीट मेज बार्ले कॉर्न कॉटन एटसेट्रा Now let's have an eye on the types of crops. There are mainly two types of crop: kharif crop and rabi crop. Kharif crop, the plants which are grown in rainy seasons are called kharif crop. In India, rainy season is mainly from June to September. The examples of kharif crop are paddy, maize, etc. Now, rabi crop. The crops which are grown in winter season are called rabi crops in india winter season is mainly from october to february the examples of rabi crop are wheat gram etc there is also one more type of crop which is not given in our book that is jaid crops the crops which are grown in summer season are called jaid crops in india the season is mainly from april to june the examples of jaid crops are watermelon musk melon etc now let's see the basic practices of crop production cultivation of crops involves several steps undertaken by farmers these activities are listed below number 1 preparation of soil number 2 sowing number 3 adding manure and fertilizers number 4 irrigation number 5 protection from weeds number 6 harvesting number 7 storage we will see all the steps one by one preparation of soil this is the first step in crop production and this step turning and loosening of soil is done with the help of various tools like plow who and cultivator the process of turning and loosening of the soil is called tilling or plowing sometime manure is added to the soil before tilling which brings up the nutrients present below the soil up so that plants can get the necessary nutrients easily here you can see the pictures of plow who and cultivator these tools help in the turning and loosening of the soil now let us try to understand what are plow hoe and cultivator are plow is used for the tilling of the soil adding fertilizer to the crop removing the weeds scraping of soil etc it is made up of wood and drawn by a camel or a pair of bulls hoe is used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil cultivator is used for plowing it is driven by a tractor use of cultivator saves labor and time sowing this is the second step of crop production sowing is done with the help of some traditional tools or by seed drill a simple method to get good quality seed is to pour seeds in water the damaged seeds are lighter and float on water this method help us to get good quality seeds adding manure and fertilizers this is the third step in the crop production continuous growing of crop makes the soil poorer in certain nutrients so manure or fertilizer has to be added to replenish the nutrients in the soil This process is called manuring. Now let's see the differences between fertilizers and manure. Fertilizer is an inorganic salt. It is prepared in the factories. It does not provide any humus. These are rich in plant nutrients. Now let's see the manure. Manure is a natural substance. it is prepared in the fields it provides a lot of humus 
but these are less rich in plant nutrients as compared to fertilizers irrigation this is the fourth step of crop production the supply of water to crops at different intervals is called irrigation the time and frequency of irrigation varies from soil to soil crop to crop and season to season the sources of irrigation are wells tube wells ponds lakes rivers dams and canals the traditional method of irrigation are moat ching pump dekhli rehat now let's see the modern methods of irrigation the main methods are sprinkler method and drip irrigation sprinkler this system is more useful on the uneven land where sufficient water is not available drip irrigation the water falls drop by drop adjust the point of roots protection from weeds this is the fifth step in the crop production weeds are the undesirable plants which may grow naturally along with the main crop and the process of removal of weeds is called weeding weeding can be done by two methods manual method and chemical method first of all let's see the manual method this includes physical removal of weeds this is done with the help of a khurbi or by a seed drill now chemical method chemicals which are used to kill weeds are called weedicides for example 2,4-D harvesting this is the sixth step in the crop production the cutting of crop after it is mature is called harvesting it is either done by sickle or by a harvester after harvesting the grains are separated from chaff manually or by machine this is called threshing this is carried out with the help of a machine called combine manually we can do this by winnowing storage this is the last step in the crop production harvested grains are stored with the protection from moisture insects rats and microorganism before storing them the grains are properly dried in the sun to reduce moisture in them farmers store grains in jute bag or metallic bins large scale storage of grain is done in silos and granaries for storing large quantities of grain in big godowns specific chemical treatment is required here you can see the pictures of granaries and silos as you know granaries and silos are used to store large quantity of grain thanks for watching this video please like share comment and subscribe my channel